be pouring the Gatorade over them. Uh, ah. <laughs> I, th- I don't think we're into the finals yet of the tournament, though. Yeah. Well, let's just do it anyway. That's for the spontaneity. Yeah, why not? Because you know, <laughs> nobody else is doing it. Spontaneity, now. baby. Okay, speaking of spontaneity, you know, we had the week off. And you know, last time he did his DVD review, I was a bit harsh. Both me and the blind dog, we were a bit harsh. We'll yeah. Admit, we have, we'll, you know, we just after that, I found a flat tire in my parking lot. Oh, yeah. Well, now you know. Your, now now you your know. cronies <laughs> come after me, man. Yeah. No, one that, of those, was just, that was just me. Oh, of, hey. <laughs> one of those smart fans from the internet. Yeah, from <laughs> England or wherever. Yeah. Let's let's do uh, a DVD review here, and let's hope this isn't as painful as the other ones, Sean, because they were pretty bad. Well, two weeks ago. Bam, bam, bam. If I remember two weeks ago, now this is just me defending myself. This is because I, I have no life. But anyway. Press fast forward now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago, we had, you know, remember the phone problems we had? You know, we weren't sure what was going to go on or whatever, you know. So yeah. as I was doing my proper DVD review, we got uh, our last guest, Don Jameson, called us. So I never got a chance to finish. So I think we were kind of bailing out on it anyway. Let's just be honest. <laughs> yeah. Let's call it a spade a spade, my friend. Well, hopefully today will be a new day. All right, now, now let's uh, enough of the jibba jabba. What's the deal with this? Uh, Sugar Shots lost a DVD review. What's coming out today on DVD? Well, for you DVD uh, fans out there, we got Inception, the Leonardo DiCaprio film that uh, was sweeping the blockbuster fame, I guess. Is that the follow up from Conception? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, just Le- Leonardo da Vinci, or Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo DiCaprio, close Lee to Lee Iacocca. Vinci. What Le- are we talking about? <laughs> Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles, anyway. Oh, uh, we're, uh, we're sorry. So that comes out today. <laughs> <laughs> Burger Barn. And we're actually making for all. Boy, I tell you. You know, you wonder why we put people to sleep <laughs> on my review. Oh, I'm waking them up, buddy. It's because of this, you know, now what, all this pander. Now, you have know. you seen Inception? I'm not pandering. You're the one who's <laughs> pro- Mr. Product Placement. <laughs> okay, Inception, all right. I, I, I've always seen bits and pieces. I haven't really seen the... Yeah, I saw bits the trailer. Bits and pieces... Oh, yeah, you just say you saw the trailer because yeah. bits and pieces of that movie, it's kind you, of you have no idea uh, the real grasp of what the movie's about if you say you saw bits and pieces I of just, it. I saw the movie in the theater, okay. and I was still confused by it. And I think that's the movie you should see, you should watch, privately view this week. you got seven days to view Inception and give us a proper movie review. Because you sit in your comfort zone, you watch movies oh, that you like, your John Candy 80s movies. <laughs> it's time for you to watch a movie that's not your normal fare. Wow, that's a test. That's a challenge. Inception. <laughs> Next week, Sean Slauson is going to do a, a DVD review of Inception. And if he doesn't, well... We're going to have to uh, take this section, this cat thing away from you. <laughs> okay, next movie. Yep. Next movie is uh, Shrek Forever After. We're, we're kind of making history because this is the final Shrek film to come out. Yeah, you know, the final one until they close anyway. the vaults and then they'll never bring it back. And then about another year from now, they're like, oh, Shrek returns again. You know, It's like, well, wait a minute. I thought this was the last Shrek Well, movie. Donkey's got to die. Why? It's Eddie Murphy, man. You know, why does uh, he have to die? Eddie Murphy's <laughs> got to get back to being Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of a jackass. Yeah, well, that's what a donkey is. And I don't want Nor- I don't want Norbit too either. Yeah, Norbit too. We interviewed his former bodyguard for heaven's sakes. Yeah. yeah, we know that guy. He's he's guarding us. <laughs> yeah, and I remember Sir Sean on his uh, YouTube thing. He said that it was Michael Jackson's former bodyguard. You lied. Oh, did I say that? Yes, you did. Oh wow. Hey, they just auctioned off his glove not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. I have that uh, framed at my house. Uh, I wonder if you get the, <laughs> if you get just one or two of them, the matching thing, you know. It's, I don't know. I, what if uh, you wanted to re- wear it on the right hand or left hand, vice versa? Live how you want to live. That's right. <laughs> Back to the DVD review. Uh, what's coming out on Blu-ray, because it's already been out on DVD for a little while. It just came out on Blu-ray today. The uh, Bill Murray movie, Lost in Translation. Now, have you seen Lost in yes, Translation? Yes, Lost in Translation. Now, what's your mm-hmm. opinion of Lost in Translation? This isn't, uh, you know, it's not Ghostbusters. Your, it's not your anything. average Bill Murray film, but so it kind of goes back to his earlier days, like not the co- comedy days, but just kind of... What about Bob? No, we're talking more like it feels like ra- the Razor's Edge or where the Buffalo Rome, t- kind of like that, like a dramatic scene, more or less. Not All right. So much, uh, not so it's, much it's comedy. Not a, it's not know? a bad one, Gene. Yeah. So there you okay, go. Okay, yeah. Next one. What are you guys and, uh, watching these on Laserdisc back in the day or what? Man? No, you just got to watch the film and know about it, I guess. <laughs> you got to just rent <laughs> like I do from the library. It's still on that library yeah. thing. Now there's a plug. That's it. 
And the very Kids, last... don't forget to read. <laughs> the very last DVD that just came out, and it's actually on a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for all you rich people can afford Blu-ray. Uh, the 2010... What's the difference? 2010 World Series, Texas Rangers... Who the hell is going to buy the World Giants. Series on DVD if it ain't got the Twins in it or, you Any know... Any, uh, sports fan, I guess. Well, Any sports fan who's got too much time on that. I think they edit the out. I think so, yeah. But well, you could already do that on your DVR. Yeah, that's... Well, okay, kind of, but they haven't, they haven't done that yet. They don't Maybe have they put it in 5.1 Super Dolby Surround yeah. Sound. Yeah, they put it in SOL for... I don't even care. Start looking like that guy from Memorex. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, I, blow the, you out of your seat! I remember seat. the Jackass guys on the Jackass 3D did the whole Memorex uh, redo or whatever. That was funny. That was, that was, uh, All right, yeah. back. You're you're, you're yeah, wandering. Yeah, you're trailing yeah, yeah, off. Yeah. They used to call me Memorex a lot because at the other company I worked for, I voice tracked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, so now that we've done the, uh, the, the DVDs that are coming what, out What is this the week, DVD, Frankie, uh, formerly we're, we're, Frankie Sugar, Sean Slauson <laughs> DVD review of the week? We're doing the picks of the week now. We're, we're well, going you should call it the Slauson Slam Dunk of the Week. <laughs> That's a basketball reference, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Now, Two weeks ago, I was going to talk in depth about this movie. In depth, Because huh? I did see yeah. this, and this was actually a very good, I thought. Well, we better get Katie Kirk. We on had the, the, uh, we had the printer up. problem, so we had to uh, do everything on the, the computer screen. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is my current pick. All right. And why? Why? Yes, I want to know. Okay, it. you want a proper review? Is this actual you, quotations from Sugar Sean Slauson? This is me talking on paper. Not something I, I saw on Amazon? What Do we need I, popcorn? Wrote, oh, you might. To show how much of a good reviewer I am, here we go. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is, uh, highly relates to the successful cartoon show Family Guy. The What's entire that? movie is random, stupid, and makes zero sense. And by the time it all ends, you're left cheering for more. Don't listen to the haters. They're just idiots who don't understand fun entertainment. And obviously hate Family Guy. There's a reference for you there. There's a there's a review for you there. Oh jeez. <laughs> and hey, I this seen mic's the movie. cracking too. I just okay. kinda, I hit the roll thing. Well, why, uh, why don't we just play this again? <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. And now <laughs> it's All time. Right, so it, I think finally <laughs> I can get to my classic pick of the week. Okay. I've been waiting classic two weeks. Two okay. Pick of the week. Two buckle, weeks of the uh, uh, buckle up. This, uh, buckle up. So what classic pick could I pick? Um, any random 80s or 90s film? Or, Cut to or the chase! <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Well, 1983 was a great year of hands. film, so I picked Mr. Mom. Yeah. I personally loved Mr. Mom since I was at least 9, 10 years old. When I, I was like three it. years ago? Mr. Yeah, Mom! Because it's a cute, funny, family-type movie, and I love Michael Keaton. He's such a great actor, but also a good, funny, funny comedian. Mm. I can't get enough from Mr. Mom. I was actually really hoping that maybe a 25th anniversary edition would come out. What it came out with tons of extras, like bloopers, outtakes, and deleted scenes. Yeah, I don't think they kept much of a reel on that one. Behind the scenes, interviews. <laughs> you know, I often wonder what the kids who were in the movie are doing right now. Heroin. That's right. <laughs> Mescaline. Out of five stars, <laughs> I give this movie five stars. That's Frankie, or that's Sean. Sugar hey, Sean. Look at that, Sugar Sean. Hey, you said Frankie. So well, no, no, don't Frankie. be passing the buck yeah. on to me. You said Frankie. I'm saying Frankie. You know? well, that's Classic it. pick, Mr. Mom. Current pick, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So, there you go. Oh, we do have a uh, applause track out here. Wow. Like the Raj Fox applause track. Here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we stumbled through a movie pick of the week. Oh boy, did we ever <laughs> pick your tongue back up off the floor? <laughs> hey, you wanted a proper review? There's a proper and next, review. And next week, now, are any of those movies available at that black box you talk about? Oh, you mean the the red box? Red box. Yeah. Well, I'm colorblind. Don't be picking on me, man. Red box. Yeah. Yeah, the red box. And DVD Express. Racist. And you hate the blind? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, no, no, no. See, I'm not racist. I'm e-racist, like they say. I'm sure that we can handle this situation maturely, just like the responsible adults that we are. Isn't that right, Mr. Poopy Pants? <laughs> Leslie yeah, Nielsen, all right, finally a Leslie Nielsen reference. Yeah, there you go. We dug him up from the dad just for you. Oh, thank you. There we go. That's Sugar Sean's uh, pick of the week. Coming up next, Red Peters. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday Night Experiment. Programming is supported by Ampers, offering an opportunity to discover what's new on the Minnesota art scene at Ampers.org. Ampers.org has more than 1,200...